Welcome back to my series of Marvel Cinematic Universe film reviews. Last time, last, last previously I did Captain America The First Avenger. I know that was not the first ever film with Marvel Cinematic Universe. Iron Man was, but I want to do it in my particular order, in my chronological uh, timeline order to do with Marvel. So that's why I put that first. Next is Iron Man, directed by John Favreau. I think that's how you pronounce his name, correct me if I'm wrong. It stars Robert Downey Jr., Terence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow. I think that's how you pronounce that as well. Jeez, I, I don't know. I don't know. Jeff Bridges <laughs> as well. Tony Stark is a master engineer. He is a billionaire industrialist who is conducting weapon tests overseas after being kidnapped by a terrorist demanding him to build this Jericho missile. He instead builds an armoured um, suit that will take them out and hopefully escape the whole cave. Now he's back in America and he refines this suit and he becomes the technological, this technological advanced superhero called Iron Man. I love the whole concept in this film. I love how Tony Stark became Iron Man in this film. The combination of being this genius billionaire playboy but also caring about the innocent people in this world he wants to do something about that. He wants to keep them safe, if that makes sense. If you don't realize already, Robert Downey Jr. is irreplaceable as Tony Stark. There is nobody, there is no one like him. Nobody can play Tony Stark like Robert Downey Jr. because Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. That is without a doubt. His character is a bit like Batman, a bit like, a bit like Bruce Wayne, and that is completely fine because I can also see that comparison as well. But we've seen Bruce Wayne's character being played numerous amount of times. We've seen that so many times, but nobody can do it like Robert Downey Jr. Not play Bruce Wayne, but Tony Stark. And I just can't see anyone play Tony Stark other than Downey. That's the thing. And I, that, it's never going to enter my mind as to who can do it because nobody can do it. And that's how, that's, 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 that's the genius of this actor. He is so good that you can't see him not play the character. He proves that with the movies later on. Perhaps this subject is for another video, perhaps, you know, who knows, who knows, perhaps I could make the comparison between Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark in many ways, who knows. Hey guys, I love this film. The same year that The Dark Knight was released, I, I feel like the, both of the films are brilliant in their own ways, you know, perhaps I prefer Dark Knight to Iron Man. It does not mean Iron Man is bad, it just means I have that preference. But I just feel like Iron Man, that's, wow, that's even another video that I could do. Wow. I mean, this film is funny, that's the thing. This film is funny, it's action-packed, it's light and bright and perhaps serious and sometimes. The cave scene where Iron Man actually becomes, uh, Tony Stark becomes Iron Man is my favourite scene throughout it. The montage, the whole music, the whole atmosphere, you know, it was just all full of terror. And I, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed how he became to care about people on this earth who are innocent and really can't do much about it. But he can because he is a genius engineer, billionaire. How the hell does someone who is, he's got money, he's got women, he's got the girls, he's got everything, but at the same time, he has got nothing because he doesn't have a family he's just on his own and you feel like you can you can relate to him even though you can't because you're not a billionaire i'm sorry but you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but like films like elf zafura jungle book or even hopefully the lion king next year john favreau's direction in this film he creates a film that will definitely excite the teens the kids and the comic book fans, 100%, they will love this film. But what he also manages to do is to entertain and make sure that the adults and the non-superhero fans who perhaps are not that interested in this film become interested in this film. There is a, there is a beautiful mashup in between which allows all of us to really enjoy this film. Am I the biggest comic book fan? Perhaps not. Do I love Marvel? I do. I do love all the Marvel films. But I'm, not, but I'm not the biggest comic book fan. I like superheroes, but you know what I mean. And I just really enjoyed that. And I feel like people who are not fans of these superhero films 
you know, that's not the case for Iron Man because I feel like people will definitely enjoy this film. I enjoyed it. I love this film. As for issues, I feel like the film could be shortened down just a little bit, perhaps 15 minutes, because those 15 minutes sort of, those extra 15 minutes allow this film to drag on a little bit and I feel like sometimes I was checking my time the watch and you know and as soon as you do that you have that realization that perhaps this film is dragging on a little bit and it, it some scenes were not very necessary but that's it in terms of issues um, I love this film I really do I feel it's a fantastic introduction to this whole franchise to this whole universe and I would say Iron Man should deserve it deserves a 4.5 out of 5 stars so anyway, stay tuned for my next review, which will be Iron Man 2. Um, subscribe for more. Check out my previous review, which was Captain America the First Avenger. That was, that, that was good, yes. But check it out. But anyway, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay.